2 PK's awesome collection. Guys, this is PSA return number 32. Guys, this is PSA submission number 32 that I sent in. So it's a return back. It's been a one whole year, probably over a year for this product to, or this item to come back. This is all my vintage Pokemon back in the day that I ship out. Um, guys, a little late to get this back now because cards has gone up or uh, gone down back. Uh, they're not as expensive as how it used to be. Also, I think the grading has changed. So let's check out these cards. Let's hope uh, we got some good grading cards. Some of these are old vintage cards, so let's hope uh, we get some good grading. All right, so I, well, I guess to put a packaging in one of these envelopes. So let's check it out. Let's see. We have about 55 cards in that are shipped off. So there's three boxes. All right. Let's move this box out of the way. So we got box one, two, and three. All right. Three box PSA return submission number 32, 55 cards. Let's check it out. It's been a long time. Alright guys, let's hope you some good grading. So let's start out this one. Look at the back. All whiting. So pretty neat. There you go. Not the best card. This is back then where PSA was cards was doing pretty well. Let's check it out what the grading is. We got a four, a really good four base set at a Kazam. There you go, pretty neat. All right, a little bit better condition. Let's check it out. At a Kazam, we got a six, a six. Not sure why it's a six. I thought this one should be about eight. All right, so not sure, but we got a six at a Kazam. All right, this one's some whiting, so this one should be four. We got a Hitman Chan. We got a four. There it is. Let me separate these for all the four by the four. This one is also has some whiting. Paddle Wrath. We're going to get a four probably. We got a five. A five. Pretty neat a set and then this one also has some writing a hidden on chan we got a five a five not sure why that other kazam has a six it was actually a better condition one let's double check maybe it has a um it's in a binder for a while so we got that little dent right there maybe that might cost it drop down to a six there we go got some writing these are vintage guys. These are like from the binder, couple binder that I have. Needle King. We have a four, a four. Pretty neat. Not bad. We got a uh, also some lighting in here. Another Hitman Chan. We have a five, five Hitman Chan. Pretty neat. And then you see how all the corners are. Hitman Chan, we got a five. It's 
So in that bag, I got a bunch of five Hitmonchan. This one looks a little bit better. You guys can see that. It looks a little bit better. You don't see a lot of whiting. The Hitmonchan. Hope this one gets eight. We got a six. A six. Here's all the scratch and stuff on these cards. Check out our next one. We got a nine tails. We have a six. Pretty neat. Nine tail base set. Whole bunch of base set, guys. And we have another nine tails. We got a five. The PSA five. All right. This one has a lot of whiting. Might be lower. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. A Nidoking. King. The last one we got was a four. We might have another four here. Five. Oh, this one's a five. So not bad. Not bad. A Zapdos. We have a four. So per, pretty much we might get like a complete set of all the hollows and fours or five. Wish that would be awesome. We got a Chansey. We have a five. Chansey base set. Well, this one's actually a lot of damage. Or a lot of corner around looks like there's a line right in the middle here you guys can see that right there in the glare let's check it out a needle king we might have this one maybe like a two maybe three got a three so this my lowest grade right now is a three here's another one with a couple white got a raichu there you go raichu we got a five a five we got a lot of five which is nice for these old vintage that's been in the binder for over 20 years. All right, we got a six. Pretty neat. We're getting some nice six, too. A Clefairy. Let's check it out. Clefairy. We got a five. Pretty neat. And this one has a lot of damage on it. Not sure what it is. Why I sent this one in with this bad of a damage. We got a Clefairy. Not sure why I sent this one in. Let's check it out. We got a two. A two. All right. Let's go to the next one. So not sure why I sent like a flurry in when it's that bad of a damage. Usually uh, I wouldn't. But if anybody's looking for a two, I got one. A flurry. All right, next one. We got nine tails. Let's check it out. We have a six. Not bad. And this one looks actually pretty good. From looking from the back. She got oh because this one is from X and Y generation. So we got a eight. We got an eight. Our best one is from one of the latest or uh, 2016 set. All right, so this one has a couple whiting in the corner. A Chansey. Let's check it out. We got a four. A four. All right, so this one has a lot of dent. So I'm not sure why I sent this one in either. Oh, okay, this one is the Legendary Collection. That's why I sent it in. My Champ, one of the hard, hard card to find. We got a three. Not bad. Not bad. That's a second three. All right. So this one has a couple of whiting. Oh, and my blast white. All right. So this one, I bought it off our local car shop. Um, and I remember the price it, the price tag was lower, but he double checked the price and he gave it to me for a higher price. I don't, I don't know why, but this one is for my collection for sure. We have a five. A five with probably a lot of scratches, a little bit of whiting. It's not bad, but this one's gonna go into my collection. Pretty neat, legendary collection. A five. Let's put this one on a stand right there. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. One of my favorite card. All right, Magneton. Base set four. For me, I have like a whole collection of fours and five of the base set. 
Pimon Champ First Edition. We have a three. We have a three. Alright. Oh, this one's bad. I'm not sure why I even sent this one in. Let's check it out. Hitman Champ First Edition. I'm not sure why I sent it in. But you got a two. It's a two. It's not a one. So it's not bad. There you go. It's good condition. Alright, so this one is it's pretty bang up. So I'm not sure why I sent these in. It's been a whole year. Maybe because of the hype of uh Pokemon. So we have this one, and we're gonna get a one for sure. We got a three, a three, and this one's like all oh, damage up here. Wow, nice, nice. Got another three, a three a Hitman champ. We need a four or five of those. All right, so another one. We need a four or five. We got a three, another three. We need four or five. These are really hard to get them in good condition. Because they come in a starter deck, guys. Um, back in the day, he's the only one that comes in a starter deck. And everybody buys those just for using it in a deck. Oh, we got a Mega Venusaur EX Evolution. We got a 9. A 9. I don't think we're going to have any PSA 10 on these. These are all vintage cards. A Mewtwo. All right, Mewtwo. We have a five. There you go, pretty neat. Wow, they got a whole. We probably got all the holographic in PSA five. Charmeleon, Shadowless. Let's go. Let's check it out. We got a two. This is a two. Oh, it's pretty bad shape, but it's still Shadowless. So putting it into a slab. Well. Keep it in that condition forever. This one has a lot of writing. Also, another Chansey. We have a four. A four. Pretty neat. All right. And we have a, another Chansey. Let's check it out. Let's see what this one gets. We have a four. Another four. So that's a pretty cool Chansey. All right. This one is pretty bang up. I'm saying it's going to be a two. This is the Shadowless Nine Tails. All right, let's check it out. We got a two. You know, pretty, pretty bang, bang up, but still a pretty hard card to find. All right, and this one is a Magneton. We gonna have a five here. Yep, five. All right, not bad. So a lot of our base are gonna be four and five. Probably gonna have like almost a complete set because I think we're missing some champ. On that, on that set, I know I have Charizard and maybe Blastoise and Venusaur as a five already. So I might even have to double check. I might have a whole complete set of those in five, which would be awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna go double check all my grading. If I have a complete set of four and five, that would be great. You know, somebody might want to buy them as. A whole complete set but I might just want to hang on to it that would be awesome we got a um, a ancient new Yu-Gi-Oh cards there you go um, this one has a bent right here and we have a four I bought this one along with the Blastoy in that same place this was the best condition one it has a really nice world right here so I decided to just get it because this is the best condition he has. And uh, it's a four. Other than that, everything else is damage. So that's the best condition. Um, let's put that right here. All right. And let's check it out. We have a Wigglytuff uh, base set two. We have a eight. Not bad. Here it goes. Getting better. And eight, where is all um, my eight? Eight and nine goes right here. All right, and then we have, oh, Charmeleon from Hidden Faith. I did send this on Hidden Faith. We have Gem Mint 10, awesome, awesome. Wish that would have come back a long time ago. That car was hitting a what, about $100 back then. A Charler Champion Path, we got a Gem Mint 10. 
pretty neat. And then we got old oh, Blastoid. This one has a really nice swirl right here. This is a dark Blastoid. We have a five. A five. Not bad. Pretty neat. What did uh well let's put it right right here. That's my blastoid. I collect blastoid and see look here's some of my blastoid stuff. That's a nice you know that's a pretty bad crease right there, but this is a reverse hollow of blastoid from Crystal Guardian. Uh, some of the really pretty hard car to get these days. Let's check it out. We got a a poor one. We got a one just because of bent right in that corner and down here. Yeah, so I got one on this. So not bad. I'm going to keep this with my Charizard. I have a Charizard that is PSA 1, which is awesome. Let me put my Blastoid right here. Alright, and I got Dragonite for Evolution. We got a Jam Mint 10. That's always nice to get. Okay, another one. We have a Jam Mint 10. Awesome. Dragonite. And we got a Charizard from Battle Academy. This is just a uh, rare uh, non hollow version. We have a Jam Mint 10. Yes. Charizard. Oh. And we had another H and Mew. H and Mew. I guess they did bought two. And this one is um, a little bit creased too. We got a four the other one. Let's check out this one. We got a four. We got two PSA four H and Mew. All right. I'll put that one down over there. All right. And then we got a Gyarados. A Gyarados base set, maybe base set. I'm not sure why this one says 1999 to 2000. I'm not sure, not sure what I mean. Okay, I don't know why that one has that. Or oh, the other one didn't. So not sure. We had a five. I might have to double check what that mean. Is that a reprint set? I don't know. Okay, this one. Has to be my uh, my Mew. Got it along with the Blastoid. There it is. Japanese Mew from Fossil. Great for my collection. We got a 7. That's good. That's pretty good. But Japanese cards tend to be better for grading. And you just have to worry about centering. I think it's a centering that I got um, deduct. But I think I got a couple of these Mew left to grade. I did bought a couple one from the car show, so I'm gonna have to uh, see what PSA has open, and I'm gonna be sending out some more. Yeah, Gero, see this one doesn't have that, so I'm not sure why the other one do, but let's uh, let's check the grade in this and let's compare. We got a four, all right, so we got a four. So let's compare. What's the difference? All right, so. Is it the hollow? No, the hollow seems fine. Um, on top, all oh, everything looks fine. The HP, everything looks fine. The photo looks fine. Looks the same. The weight, the length, the attack, the energy, the weakness, the resistant, the retreat cause. Uh, all the wording are the same. I think it's probably down here. I don't know. Oh, down here it says 1999 Wizard. And then this one says, I'm sure you guys can see it. But, uh, let's see if I can zoom in right there. 1999 to 2000 Wizard. And the other one says 1999 Wizard. So that's the difference between these two cards. So that's the difference.
guess I never knew that. I have to double check uh, why some said that. Maybe some just released uh, different. This was from 1999. So we got a five, a five. All right, so we got a four of those and a five. So that means the other Gyarados was an EV either. All right, 1999, also Gyarados. Six, all right, six. Pretty neat. All right, and we had a Charizard from Battle Academy with that Charizard right there. We have a 10, yes, pretty neat. I collected all my PSA 10 Charizard. I tried playing Blastoid, but guys, I'm there's a buddy of mine that I'm going to give one of my Blastoid to. Um, I got it ready. I just have to ship it to him. He doesn't know I ship it to him. Just gonna give it to him as a gift. And I'm probably gonna throw in a couple of Charizard PSA 10 that doubles that I have to him. He's uh, he had he doesn't own any PSA 10 yet, and that's my goal is to give him a couple of PSA 10, so that way he actually has some PSA 10 in his collection. We had Dark Slow Bro from Legendary Collection Seven. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right. Venusaur for Evolution. We need a 10. We got a 9. A 9. Well, I already got my complete set of these. I already got the Blastoid, the Charizard, and the Venusaur as a PSA 10. I was allowed to get more of those. And Needle King. Needle King. We got a 5. All right. All right, guys, so not bad. Um, we got a lot of five and four because all these are the vintage stuff, which is actually not bad. I might have to go through them. I probably got a complete set or not even a complete set of a PSA 5. But if I can go check all my old ones and stuff, add together, I might have got a uh, whole complete set of the, all the holographic um, base set, uh, non first edition. So um, I have to double check on that. Also pretty neat, and there's one of my favorite Blastoid card, which has got a one. It go along with my PSA one Charizard that I got um, a while back. All right, guys, so that's it. That's it for my PSA return, guys. If you guys like PSA return? All I gotta do is just thumbs up the video and subscribe.